everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. And today I do not have to go out hunting anywhere because a package was delivered to my door a couple of days ago from Mr. Goody, Mr. Goody G, to uh, Mr. C. Wolf, as you can see there, which is very good. Uh, I like how uh, Goody coordinated the color of this package with the color of my D20 that I use for the... Uh, for the segment that shall not be named as of yet. <laughs> Though I think you guys have already decided what I'm going to call that segment, so I don't know why I'm resisting it. I uh, would like to do some shout-outs, but I have not uh, got myself organized today enough to do that. I have caught the cold that my daughter has. Uh, she's getting over it, though. She's doing pretty well, but I'm uh, just uh, fresh with it, and it's uh, very exciting and enjoyable, as you can imagine. I spent a good part of the morning just on the couch, and now I've taken some cold medicine and had some uh, lunch and some coffee, and so uh, should get me up to be doing doing this opening and doing uh, my job work that uh, I've fallen woefully behind on, but uh, I'll be able to catch up with that with without too much trouble, I'm sure. So uh, instead of doing the shout-outs today, I'm going to do those uh, maybe tomorrow if I make a video tomorrow and my, uh, my voice holds out and I can do that, then I'll do them tomorrow, and if not tomorrow, then I'll do it on Saturday for sure. I've got a whole bunch of shout outs to do and I, I just need to uh, allot some time to look at all of those channels because I don't like to just randomly give shout outs. I like to actually look at the channels and watch some videos so I, I know what uh, to say about those channels. I like to give people uh, an idea of what they're going to find when they go over there. It's no fun without doing that. So anyway, today what I'm going to do is get into this package from Goody G. This was totally unexpected. I have uh, no idea what's in here. Goody G did not tell me what he was sending or that he was sending anything at all. I've sent Goody G a few cards uh, over the, the weeks and months, but not very much. I just uh, know that he collects uh, managers and coaches and checklists and things like that. And so whenever I find something interesting, I start a little pile for somebody and uh, every now and then I'll put some cards in an envelope and send them to Goody but this is uh, way more than uh, I have uh, sent his way so uh, I'm very curious what's in here. It's either a couple of stacks of cards or two cell phones so I'm gonna go with the cards. I, I don't think Goody would send me a couple of cell phones uh, or maybe he did. Maybe there's some kind of uh, secret uh, spy thing going on here. I don't know but I'm gonna get into this now and we'll find out. I'm gonna I think this is the best place to get it. It doesn't feel like there's anything up here, so I think uh, we're going to get into here with the kitchen aids and uh, see if we can open this bright pink package, which I uh, am hoping I can open so as to be able to reuse it, because this is a, a really cool bubble mailer. I haven't seen one this color before. I don't know about you guys. I don't really uh, do a lot of shopping for bubble mailers, but no one's ever sent me a pink one before, so I do want to hang on to that. All right, there we go. Still don't know if it's two cell phones or not. I'm going to guess not. But uh, we'll, we'll see in just a moment here. Lots of great bubble wrap. Goody G did a very good job of uh, ensuring that whatever he has sent me has arrived in safe condition with the uh, bubble wrap there. And uh, yeah, there is. there are two big piles of cards here. My goodness. This is... Uh, I'm pretty excited about this, I gotta tell you. If I wasn't so tired from my cold, I'd be, you could really hear it. Uh, you know how I get. Start doing the cartwheels and all of that stuff. All right, this looks like uh, some Orioles. Kevin Hickey starts us off on this big stack of cards. I mean, look at that. That's a lot of cards, people. Goody G, thank you very much for doing this. I, I don't know if I've said thank you yet, but even before I go through these, I'm going to say thank you because uh, it doesn't matter what's in here. I'm going to like it and I'm going to appreciate it quite a lot. Thank you for thinking of me. So let's see. We start off with Kevin Hickey. That's an Upper Deck 1990 card. Ooh, very nice. Fleer card. Jeff Conine. That is, uh, that is in the design of the 1963 Fleer set, which is a very undervalued uh, set in my opinion. The 1963 Fleer have some really attractive cards in there, but forever, I don't know what the reason is, that set just doesn't bring the high prices that other cards from that era do. Another Jeff Conine, very nice, very nice to see that. What do we have here? 2000 Team Rookies with John Parrish and Chris Richard, very cool. I'm almost certain I don't have that one. That's a nice thick card too. I'm getting a lot of glare here, sorry about that. Baltimore Orioles celebrating, and I'm not sure what they're celebrating, but it's the team card. 
And Jeff Robinson, nice Bowman card there from 1990 Fleer. There is Greg Olson with the two Gs. Shifty Greg Olson. You've seen him in previous videos where I've uh, opened cards. He doesn't look as shifty in that position. He looks kind of like he's just relaxing and maybe uh, enjoying a, a television show or a joke. I'm not sure, but I don't know. I still don't trust it. Billy Ripken with the non-offensive bat in that one. Brady Anderson, nice Donruss 1990 card there. Fred Lynn. I was always happy when the Orioles picked him up. I always liked Freddie Lynn when he was with the Red Sox, and when the Orioles got him, I thought that was that was pretty awesome. He was a really good player. Mark Thurmond from Dunruss 1990, and there's Terry Kennedy, a really good catcher for the Orioles, and I believe he played for the Oakland A's as well. That's 1989 Dunruss. And there's 1992 Dunruss, Mark Williamson, Orioles pitcher for several years. Ben McDonald, nice 92 Fleer Ultra, some, some good photography for that set. Curtis Goodwin. I should probably go through these faster because I know most of you guys are really not that interested in Orioles to the extent that I am. Jeffrey Hammonds. Glenn Davis. Good Oriole. I'd forgotten that he was on the Orioles for as long as he was, but he, he was over there for a while. He was a good pickup for them. Jim Traber. Sam Horn. I believe he started out with the Red Sox as well. Mickey Tettleton. Maybe that's the catcher I'm thinking of that was with the A's and then came over to the Orioles. My, I've, I'm all swimmy-headed with uh, cold medication, so it's hard for me to keep anything straight. What channel is this? What, who am I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, Cardwolf. Okay, I got it, I got it. All right, here we go. And, uh, and who's this? Uh, Randy Myers. All right, very good. Armando Benitez is thrilled and excited about being in my collection. Thank you, Armando. I'm thrilled you're here, buddy. And there's uh, Jeff Hammonds. Very nice to see that. Manny Alexander, nice infielder for the Orioles. That's a nice nice picture, too. That's a kind of picture you don't really often see on cards. I like that one. There's Ben McDonald with a bat. What What is even happening there? Ben McDonald is a pitcher. It even says right-handed pitcher, and he's holding a bat. Uh, don't you know we have the DH in the American League, Ben? Come on. Put the bat down, buddy. You're not fooling anybody. What do we have here? Scott Erickson, he's a right-handed pitcher, and he's doing what pitchers do. Mark Williamson, another right-handed pitcher. Very nice. Juan Benitez in the outfield for the Orioles. Mark Thurmond and Terry Kennedy. That's a Leaf card, 1988, I believe. Nice uh, Leaf card there. I don't have many Leaf cards. Donruss, 1989, Craig Worthington. Chris Davis, nice card there. Ray Knight, he came over from the Cincinnati Reds and played third base for the Orioles for a while. Another Mickey Tettleton. Charles Johnson from Topps 2000, and there's Joe Ursulak from Classic Baseball 1990. I don't have a lot of Classic Baseball either. I should pick up some packs of that because I really don't have much in my collection, and it is, you know, for a 1990 card, that is a very 80s design. I'm just going to say it. Nice Rick Sutcliffe card. A lot of people don't remember Rick Sutcliffe as being with the Orioles, but he was. Of course, he was with the Cubs for many years, but he played for the Orioles too. What do we have here? Asher Wachowski, and Kevin Gossman, and Mike Devereaux, and uh, wow, that is a hideous uniform that the Orioles had there. Anthony Santander, and and that that is uh, wow. I uh, I have to tell you, Baltimore Orioles, you you should really rethink the uh, Maryland flag sleeves on your uniforms. That's not going to work out well. You know, you would think that that would be plenty of cards for anybody to send anybody. That's what I would think myself. I would think, wow, that is a largesse of cards from Goody G. Thank you, sir. But yet, Goody G, he was not satisfied with that. He decided, I'm going to send Cardwolf two big stacks of cards. And so here's the second one. Thank you very much, Goody G. These are so much fun for me to go through. I, I really... Uh, very unexpected from you and very... Very cool. I really appreciate this. These are great. I, this is another stack of Orioles from Goody G. Thank you for all of these cards. This is awesome. And a lot of these are cards that I do not have in my collection. So this is going to be a, a lot of great stuff added to the PC, and I really appreciate that. Now, I, I could tell you who that is, but I'd need to put on a different set of spectacles or something. No, I think that's... Who is that? That's uh, John Means, pitcher for the Orioles. And that's uh, an opening day Tops 21 card. That is pretty cool. I don't have many of those either, I have to admit. Uh, and there's a uh, hold me back, bro. Walk off home run there. Hold me back, bro. I'm going to start say, saying that. My wife will really enjoy that. 
if you've uh, had any interest in, uh, in now what is this this is Bob Melvin oh yeah Bob Melvin 1991 very nice I like that one Sam Horn and Pete Harnish good pitcher for the Orioles for many years I, I hope you guys are interested in Orioles otherwise this can be a very boring video for you it's very exciting for me but uh, there's Chance Cisco very uh, nice nice card there I like that pose too Mike Flanagan, longtime Oriole, and then became a, a pitching coach, I believe. Uh, Oswald Peraza, Jim Traber, and Ryan Flaherty. Ooh, that is a pretty card. I do not have any of whatever this is. Donruss Preferred. That's uh, Rocky Coppinger. And what a year is this? I do not have any of that. That looks like 1997. Hmm. I'm going to have to look into that. I, I have not gotten any of that. I really like the orange foil on there. That is a really sweet looking card. Uh, Jeff Hammonds, Orioles. Mike Morgan. Joe Ursulak. Craig Worthington. When he came up, man, everybody thought Craig Worthington was really going to turn into something. And he was alright, but he never did fulfill the expectations that I think a lot of people had for him. Adam Lowen. That is a nice upper deck card from... Uh, I'm trying to remember what year that is. That is from 08... Upper Deck 08. It looks suspiciously like Topps Stadium Club from 2019. They look very similar to one another. Somebody should start an investigation into that. Mark Trumbo there and Glenn Davis. All right, you guys know what happens when we hit a studio card. Let's find out about Glenn Davis. His hobbies are hunting, fishing, and landscaping. His favorite singers are Michael W. Smith and Amy Grant. I have to say I'm not familiar with them and would like to meet Billy Graham and Clint Eastwood. That is an unusual pairing, Glenn Davis. Dave Schmidt, good pitcher for the Orioles. Sam Horn, Ben McDonald, that's a nice McDonald. I like that one. 1987, Donruss Lee Lacey. Love the design of 1987 Donruss. Lee Lacey, of course, long time. ML Beer, Randy Milligan there. And Nerio Rodriguez from the Stadium Club. Joe Orsalak, Andrew Kashner, Adam Jones. Jeff Ballard and Pete Harnish. Yes. Juan Bell. Dave Johnson. There's another Anthony Santander. I love these 1972 design cards. I know this was from last year's Heritage. John Means. Pedro Severino. Rio Ruiz. Darren O'Day. That's a nice looking card. I'm not sure I have any of that. What is that? That's uh, 2015 tops. You know what? I do not have any 2015 tops. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but uh, I wasn't buying a lot of cards. There was about uh, maybe four years there where I just was not buying a lot of new cards. I was focused mainly on vintage, and I think that was one of, one of those years, 2015. Larry Sheets, his son is now in the majors. Uh, as you guys know, he's playing for the White Sox. And Adam Jones. Wow. Tons and tons of awesome Orioles cards. Goody G, that was very, very generous, my friend. Thank you so much. I, I tell you, I, I feel kind of uh, like garbage today because of the cold, but uh, this was a real highlight for me. I feel, I, I feel invigorated and, and uh, refilled with energy after opening all of those Orioles cards. Like, I'm going to go out and, and shovel the driveway now. we got a lot of snow this week, so I, somebody's going to have to do that. And I think it's a bit much for my five-year-old, so it's going to have to be me at some point. Uh, we'll get out the... Probably don't need the snowblower, but we'll we'll get out the shovel and do that. Thank you so much, Goody G. I'm just rambling at this point because I, I really have no filter anymore with the cold medicine. So I hope you guys are, have enjoyed that, and uh, I really appreciate this. These are, these are just great. I'm going to have fun right after I uh, close out this video going through these again, sort of separating them into piles and, and just having a really good time with these. This is awesome. Really appreciate it, Goody G. And I've got some already in a stack for you, and I'm going to have to add to that stack, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Goody G, that you like the San Francisco Giants. So I'm sure I can dig up some San Francisco Giants for you. Do you like the 49ers too? I can't remember if you're a football fan as well. You have to let me know in the comments. Thank you all very much for tuning in today. I appreciate it quite a great deal, and I hope that you guys are having a good week and that none of you are sick and can avoid getting sick. I will be back hopefully tomorrow if my voice holds out, and if not tomorrow, you'll certainly see me Saturday with another video. I'm not sure what it's going to be about. I've got a bunch of stuff to open and uh, some interesting things to go through that I think you'll enjoy, so I'll, I'll figure that out tomorrow. In the meantime, happy collecting.